Good morning, I got a story time. So this woman reached out to me after seeing my TikTok about anti-intellectualism. So I'm just gonna read this. I just responded to you, to your TikTok about anti-intellectualism. I had a few experiences and wanted to share an experience that is still fresh on my mind. I was getting to know a man who was close to 40. He seemed put together secure and we seemed to be getting along well until he asked what I did for a living and it went downhill. He began to throw low blows and say, I just work as a blank. He, well, he's a manager. I'm not going to tell you a manager way. It was cringy and thankfully he ghosted me. I've noticed these type of responses becoming more frequent. Thankfully, it wasn't a dusty pookie seeking a handout, but it seems like insecurity is increasing daily. This is one of the text messages he sent her. He says, I'm a little speechless. I'm going to be honest. I see you talking about all these amazing things that you do. And I'm like, um, I manage a couple of insert his place of business that I'm not going to speak on. So I asked her what she did for a living. And she says she's 44 with a, um, a BSN and a master's in public health. She's worked in clinical research for 10 years and she's been in bedside nursing. And she took this job so that she could have some flexibility to um, have time with her daughters. What I love about women is that we understand the rigors and the time constraints of mothering. So t her taking this time and taking this route in her education was number one, so she could provide, and number two, so she could be there for her children. And this seems like a slap in the face to other people who might not be as well off or as accomplished, but somebody else's accomplishments has nothing to do with you. And this entitlement or this anger or this anti-intellectualism is ridiculous. Anybody else have anything that they want to share? Feel free to send it. I'll get to it as I can.